What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel, your go-to channel for everything Linux and tech related. And today we're talking about something real important for all my fellow Ubuntu users out there. We're upgrading our system from Ubuntu 22.04 to Ubuntu 24.04. And if you're a little nervous about it, don't worry about it. I got you covered. Now you also might be thinking, do I really need to upgrade? My system is running fine. And yeah, Ubuntu 22.04 is solid, but with 24.04, you get more updated packages, security patches, and let's be honest, who doesn't love having the latest and greatest? I mean, we all like shiny new things, right? So if you're ready to level up your system, let's go down and get started. All right, so I'm at Ubuntu.com. And of course I had a link down in the description of the video and I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know how to get to Ubuntu, but this is where you can get that latest version. Or if you already have it installed, there's documentation on their website to help you with it. But I'm going to walk you guys through it. So first off, I wanted to point out that Ubuntu 22.04 will be supported until 2027. Ubuntu 24.04, that will be supported until 2029. So you get five more years of peace of mind. Now, some of y'all might be wondering why even bother with the upgrade? when I've still got a few years of support. Well, here's the deal. Newer packages, improved performance, and tighter security. And if you're running servers, containers, websites, or even just your day-to-day -day machine, these things matter. But don't get it twisted. Not everyone needs to upgrade ASAP. If you've got some custom services that rely on older dependencies, I'd say hold off and make sure your stuff isn't gonna break. I mean, we don't want your apps crying because of incompatible libraries. But for the rest of us, it's upgrade time. So here's the game plan. First thing you want to do is back up your data and then update your software. And then we can get into the juicy part, which is the OS upgrade. But you got to be smart about it. No one wants to be that person who messes up an upgrade because they skipped a step. So let's go down and get to it. OK, so this is Ubuntu 22.04. And I can show you guys that by running the terminal right fast. I mean, you probably can see by the image on the background but this is you 22.04 so let's go you name dash a boom you can check it out that's you went to 22.04.1 so it actually has a bunch of upgrades that need to happen so we'll get to that in a second but i want to at least show you guys the first step which i talked about is backups you definitely want to run backups on your system and there's multiple ways to do it just like with anything in linux there's multiple ways to skin a cat because no matter how smooth the ubuntu upgrade process is don't play yourself by not backing up your important stuff trust me even the most reliable upgrade processes can throw a wrench in your setup so like for instance go up in your home directory and what i would do is copy all these folders with all your data in it and also if you're just going to copy your folders make sure you go under here into your settings and show hidden files that way you can copy your fast rc all your dot files as well as your configuration files that's all tied to the applications that you use so any application that you use and you make changes to on the server is stored in a lot of these hidden files under your home directory so whenever you open up the application it knows what settings you last left off on and it'll open up the application the same way and all you have to do is copy this over to whatever system that you're going to let's say you use a lot of gimp for fo photo editing and you have it set up a specific way well that will be stored in these dot files so all you have to do is install gimp on the new system and then copy that the configuration file over and it'll open up the exact same way you have it on this system so the home directory is very important but let's say you want to just back up the whole system then i recommend you guys use the dd command and i've done a video on the dd command i won't run it for you guys because there is nothing on this system that i really want to back up it's a fresh install of 22.04 nothing on here i don't have any personal files i don't have anything but i wanted to at least show you guys the command and actually let me go to the main page right fast so you guys can see dd but you can basically copy your whole hard drive and create an image file i believe i did a video on this in the past when i was showing you guys how to switch from windows without losing your copy of windows dd is a very good application you know it helps you copy all the data and it kind of reminds me of this application we used to use in environments when i worked as a systems administrator we use ghost and ghosts could basically sync a hard drive to another hard drive with the same operating system, same files and all that stuff, or same applications and all that stuff. And we will use that to set up multiple systems that we were handing out to students. But anyway, back to the backups, you want to make sure you back up your stuff. And let me run the command right, well, not run it, but I'm going to show you guys how to run it right fast. So 
is basically dd and then if is always going to be a source so if equals and then you can specify your device and i believe the devices on here is vda yeah so vda and then you have partitions on each one i'm like vda one but you want to copy the whole device and you want to write it to an image file so copy that that device to an image file and the of is the destination so you type of and then wherever you're locating it or wherever you're storing it let's say you plug in a usb drive or something you can point to that and create the image files let's say you got a directory under here called us one terabyte or something like that whatever your drive name is and then what i typically do is create a folder for the system so let's say this is our are you to 22 desktop and then dot img and we want to write it to an image and then you can use uh it's a couple of options in here i recommend you guys read the man page that's why i want to show you the man page but i typically do like 64k here and it's capital k and then c-o-n-v equals no error and then also sync that's something i always put up in there but that'll get rid of the errors and then it'll copy everything over for you to preserve permissions and all that good stuff so i recommend you copy the whole you know device and paste it in and like put it on a shared drive or a usb drive and that way you can back up the whole system and then all you have to do is write this back to the device if you mess up or if something mess up and you can roll right back to where you were before you started the upgrade so it's very important to make backups all right so once you run that command and figure out how you want to do your backups now it's time to roll into the upgrade and the first thing you really want to do is update your system i recommend you update it so let me clear right fast and then we can type sudo apt updates and this will refresh the repositories and then sudo apps upgrade and this will upgrade any of the packages that you have on your system so let's go on press enter type in our sudo password press enter and like i said it'll refresh the repository it'll basically check to see if you got any packages on your system that are out of date based on the repository and then it will show you those upgrades and then upgrade it like it has 576 upgrades this is a fresh install from my old iso that i had sitting around i figured i used the latest release of 22.04 i believe it's dot five right now which probably didn't have much updates i wanted you guys to at least see some updates and just know that you need to update your system before jumping into the install so i'll just let this run in the background and i'll come back when it finishes so you guys ain't got to sit here and wait for 500 something packages to be installed so be back in a sec all right so the updates are done let me go down and reboot the system right fast so now the reboot is done next up we're gonna run the distribution upgrade and this will handle the changing dependencies that might come up let's go on and open up our terminal again and let me make it big enough so you guys can see again and the command to run is sudo apps dis upgrade and press enter go on type in your sudo password and this will get everything ready for our upgrade all right cool so we are done with that so let me just run a u name so you guys can verify that it is 22.04 so we're still at 22.04 now it's time for the main event which is upgrading the operating system itself so all you have to do is type sudo do tech release tech upgrade just make sure you type it in just like this and we are good to go and press enter this will check to see if we have a new upgrade which it does have one and you just want to go through and answer all the questions so yes we want to continue it'll give you all the information about it so uh welcome to your bind 24.04 noble numbat and here is the wiki so you can check out the release notes if you keep scrolling down you can see the feedback and help so if you need some help you can participate by updating bugs for for instance here's the report format so that's an example as well as if you have any questions you can go into the irc chat but you can check out the list information also check out the ubuntu form they have links to all of that here but we're gonna type y hit yes to continue and we're good to go it'll go through and install it'll replace all the repositories and then it'll go through and run all the updates and upgrade all the applications on the system and also remove applications that are not supported anymore for that newest version and replace it with the replacement software that was put out during this release of ubuntu so i'm gonna just let this run so you guys can at least see the upgrade and i might speed this up or something so you guys can see it but this will go through the full upgrade to 24.04 and I'll come back 
and show you guys that we are on the latest version all right so the upgrade has finished and the last thing you need to do is just type y to all right so the upgrade has completed and the last thing you need to do is just type y in here to restart the system so let's go down and press that and then i'll come back when it comes up so that lets you know right there that we're on that newer version of ubuntu but in order to verify it you can and this is a command i should have ran in the beginning you can type lsb underscore release and i'm gonna tap it out and actually dash a and this will get us everything right there so as you can see the description ubuntu 24.04.1 and it's noble num back so congrats if you follow these steps then you are now upgraded to that latest release the ubuntu upgrade process is pretty solid you know i've done it plenty of times and it's rare that things go sideways but it's always good to prepare for the unexpected that's why we back up that's why we test and that's why we don't upgrade in the middle of the workday especially if you got like 15 tabs open in chrome and five projects running at the same time but ubuntu's upgrade process just keeps getting better and i really think canonicals making it easier for regular users and pros alike 24.04 is gonna be dope new security patches you know better hardware support and the latest software versions now if you're into using linux for servers you know this upgrade is a no-brainer and you can follow these exact same steps that i put forth in order for you to upgrade there as well but if you're running custom software like i said just check for compatibility before you make that leap and like i said in the beginning i'm not saying you need to upgrade the second 24.04 is dropped but once it's stable enough yeah go ahead and get on it so that's all i got for you guys today You've got everything you need to safely and smartly upgrade Ubuntu 22.04 to 24.04. If this video helped you out, go down and smash that like button. And if you want to keep getting more Linux tips, tricks, and deep dives, go down and hit that subscribe button because you already know over here at Q, we're all about helping you level up your Linux game. Now, I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Are you planning to upgrade soon? Or are you going to wait it out? Or are you one of those folks that's still rocking Ubuntu 18.04? I know I got a server that's running 18.04 18 still on my network. But either way, thanks for hanging out with me. And as always, keep it techie. Whenever I talk to people, whenever I mentor people uh, dealing with, you know, getting into tech, you got to figure out what you like or what you're interested in. Because, yeah, a lot of people get into the, you know, tech field because you can make a good amount of money. The money is the motivator. But you also, in my opinion, in order for you to be happy, you got to like what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And so, like for me, a lot of times it doesn't feel like work bro most times it really doesn't feel like work it's it's yeah i'm doing something fun i'm doing something i love to do you know what i'm saying so that's what makes it you know great for me